One. You're good. Friday Night Flies. Hey. Friday Night Flies. <laughs> Welcome back. It's January 3rd now. Yeah. 2014. Welcome. Exciting year ahead of us. Great night ahead of us. Uh, the man right there. <laughs> the man. The brainchild behind Friday Night Flies. Oh. Um, yeah, so just like last year, I'm going to continue to bring you some more traditional ones. I let the other boys fool around with all these wacky, crazy ones. Love tying them, but uh, not everybody knows what they are, and we're just trying to increase our hits. Um, and and uh, so when people are searching, get some exposure out there. Searching these things, Friday Night Flies will come by, and hopefully this becomes uh, super uber popular. Um, so tonight, what I thought I would do would be a pheasant tail nymph. Um, as usual, I don't do it 100% traditional. I always add a little bit of thing in there, but uh, your basic fly, yeah, please. Um, we are brought. We are we are brought to you by the glacier today. Thank you, Scott. After hours, brother. Cheers to all you guys for Happy New Year's and all that. We haven't. Uh, show someone drinking on TV, but we're, doing it we're not on TV we're though. On TV. We're on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, back at her. Friday night flies. Friday night flies. Uh, yeah, pheasant tail nymph, very traditional one. And like I said, I always put in a little tweak in there. So I'm going to be using some UV material, which is off of a Gatorade bottle. Fantastic find. Courtesy of our mastermind, Mr. Fantastic, back there. UV mastermind. UV mastermind. I'm okay. also going to be putting some CDC in there. Um, just add a little bit more life to the original pattern. Yeah. So we'll go down and we'll get uh, right Part to it. it. Yeah. So Boom. as uh, yeah. fly tires do, oh, right we, uh, we always start by tying in our thread. It's so weird not having to look at the one camera now. <laughs> Keep looking at the one that's not even on. <laughs> I don't have to anymore. I don't have to. Woohoo! Good thing I brushed my teeth. I didn't scrub my nails, but... Yeah, you need to scrub it now, Scott. Yeah, we're going to have to put a little scrub brush in the back <laughs> for when we show up. Um, what I do have on here is a size 6 caddis hook. And uh, so it is a, a bit large, but uh, I like some big nymphs here and there. So I'm going to go about yay far. I don't want to go too far down. I'm just going to give a little bit of curvature. Um, the pheasant tail that I'm using, I'm going to do a little bit of a red one. So I got some red pheasant tail here. And I have plucked off, since it's a bigger fly, a good little bunch, which you guys can actually see now. So I got about that much material. It's about 10 strands. Um, yeah, we're going red this time. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. Boom, boom, boom. So opposite of all my other flies that I was doing tonight, or my one other one, I do not want to bulk up the bottom half. Um, we want to have a nice slow taper to the front. So I got that in. I got some small copper. I don't even have to. You can still see it when it's way back here. So I got some small copper. Uh, yep, yeah, and I'm gonna get that in. Tie it up. Uh, your front door. And we're gonna tie this in and bring it right back down to the tail. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I skipped a whole. I skipped the tail. I'm just... You did. I noticed that. I was going to yeah. play on that, but I uh, didn't want to inter interrupt. Yeah. And make it look like a pool. Yeah. Put the clown. That way. Put the clown hat on. Yeah. All right. That's going to back the trolley train up. There we go. Get that out of here. That's what I originally was trying to do. We'll start again. You showed us. I'm making a tail. So we got our tips. And I'm going to do half the hook, shank, or the tail. And we're just going to get that in there. All right. There we go. 
Looks good. I was looking at it before when I was tying. I was like, I don't have nearly enough material to wrap my body. Now I'm going to go back to it again. And this time I got about this much. So double of what I started with. We're going to tie that in by the tips, followed by the wire, the copper. So this bunch that I'm tying in here is going to be used to make the body. Uh, copper wire. Oh yeah. For the second time. This is a, what are you doing? A copper. I'm just doing a pheasant tail yep. nymph. Oh, okay, right, right. All right, let's get this copper all the way in. Right to the back. Oh, yeah. Bring it all the way back up to the front. I am going to use this opportunity a little bit to start shaping, just because I had to retie, so my little butt end right there is a little thick. Um, so I'm just going to even out the profile a little bit using my thread. As we want it to build up bulk as it gets to the head. These things? Well, it's just the one. The one that right. was right behind the flies. So now I'm going to take. That bunch that I tied in secondly, and we're going to use that. So what I'm doing, I'm just giving it a little twist just to help start it off, hold it all together. <laughs> and if I had hackle pliers, I would be using them. It is. It is probably right beside me, but I'm already all the way up to where I need to be anyways. All right, so Ooh. one straggler, lock them in. There we go. All right, so let's tie them off. Nip it off. Copper wire time. Make sure you stay away from your tail. Let's just shorten this up. And we'll just put in a little rib. You don't need too much, just a little bit. You can actually see what color it is now, right? Eh? All right, ribs like, in. Color? Yeah, it's a nice uh, wine, burgundy, yeah. wine red. Woo! All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the CDC stuff. It's in a natural color. I'm gonna tie the tips in, and I'm gonna put it right on the back. Curvature is going away from me because what's going to happen is I'm going to tie it in and then I'm going to fold it back and I'm going to put a uh, a wing casing over top of it. So this is just going to add a little bit of leg movement on the nymph. Nymphs have small legs, so because they're small, because yeah. they're tiny, because yeah. they're nymphs. Like if, if nymphs had big they're legs, they'd look really true. funny. <laughs> All right, so that's in. I'm going to. Uh, Rewind again. Um, apparently, I'm all about rewinding tonight. Where did that? Let's put the shell in first. That usually helps. All right, so I got myself a little strip cut out. I'm going to tie it right on the top. Little 
doesn't work without the shell back. All right, so then this material will be folded over the top afterwards and tied off at the head. Then we can put in the CDC, lay it right on top of the shell back. All right, that's all tied in. Just get rid of this so you guys can see. You don't really have to nip that off, doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to dub in a head and thorax. So I'm just evening off the profile a little bit here. And bring it right back to where you've tied all that. Okay. I'm going to go back to my awesome possum. We got a nice red color. So I'm going to do a little bit of brown. And I'm just going to get it onto the thread. Now a traditional pheasant tail nymph, you would use more pheasant tail again in some in most cases. I like going to a dubbing. You get a little bit of contrast. Dubbing has a little bit more life to it. And you Hi, notice that this... Oh, hello, viewer. How are we doing? Where are you from this evening? <laughs> All right. So... There's a little smidge more to get me to the eye. Oh. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to fold this CDC back over. So these fibers are going to hang down on both sides. So I'm just going to fold those fibers back. And then as soon as you say, you have a little box that says learn how to tie this. And then so that's where we're at now. We got the CDC across. And then when we put this shell back over top, and we'll just boom. All right, so now we got the shell back on top of it. And that's UV. Just so you know. That's yeah, that's a a free UV material right there. Gatorade cap. Alright, so it's tied in good. You know what else I found? Uh, it's a Briars ice cream. Yeah, it was Briars. Briars ice cream. The plastic around the lid? The plastic around the lid. Yeah. Is, same kind of stuff. It's even better than uh, Gatorade. Ooh, we'll have to check that out next time. Oh, hey, what's up? If you guys listen. You'll, you'll learn the tricks of the trade. All right, now, so that's pretty much the finish fly. I'm just going to put a little touch more dubbing. Um, you know what? I'm going to go. I got some orange here. I always like putting a little hot spot in there. And we're not doing very much because we're going to be tying off. We're going to be whip finishing. I just want to clean up that little bit of trimmed off UV plastic material, and then so we got a little orange spot. You can use black if you like, and then I'm just gonna whip finish right in front. And that's our new old pheasant tail nymph. That's got a definitely a modern twist to it for sure. Awesome. Awesome possum. Super Once, awesome. twice. You got a little head cement, it's a good idea to throw it in there. Let's just give her a little quick groom before we show you all. Make sure make sure she's all sitting good. So yeah. That's it from the top. Wow, that's amazing. The bottom, which the fish really see. So now that's where you can see the profile real good. Yeah, that's really good. 
And these little CDCs, when they're in the water, they're super light, super fine, and they even hold little uh, air bubbles in the little fibers. That's why it's really good. Um, gives a, a little bit more of a lifelike appearance. CDCs, wonder material. Yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool stuff. Okay. It's hey, it's I'll the UV before UV. Friday night flies. Sky day, day, night, night, night. Oh, hey, yeah, we're back. Where are we gone? Nymph, trout, getting ready for next season, and uh, yeah, tight lines, keep some sort of reel spinning as Benny would say, I'm not going to try it because I'll end up throwing it across the room, but thanks for watching, join us again next Friday, 5 o'clock, live, Friday Night Flies, I'm Boulder, that's right, nickname.